Oliva Saison for service 2009. Hey everybody, I'm Abel Key and this is a cigar vlog. Cigar vlog. I can't remember to open my mouth when I do these intros. Anyway, this is a Saison by Oliva. Oliva is known for being one of the more top tier, well not top tier, but you know, decent quality tier brands. Kind of a gold standard. Kind of a little behind punch and etc. But still, a very good brand, very affordable. And this is one of their oddballs that I managed to pick up in a sampler pack. I had a number of these a couple of months ago, and I have no idea what to expect from this now because I've completely forgotten what they taste like. I mean, I've already pre-cut it, and it's in a nice little Robusto size. But I did notice there's a couple of oddball veins here and there, so hopefully that won't end up impacting the burn. Every so often these uh, veins can be a little thick, and if you're not careful, they can cause wonky burns. But other than that, it's a seemingly a nice darkly colored wrapper. We'll go ahead and uh, get a little more share of that beautiful band. And get this little stinker lit up and see how it turns out. Alright, so far straight off the foot. Mild. Clean tobacco. No spice. Not bad. A little earthy. Get a little bit of a uh, kind of a dirt, clean dirt earth flavor. Ooh, little pepper, little pepper. All right, we get so far. All right, so here's hoping I don't end up completely getting my burn screwed up. I'm kind of starting to think maybe I need to switch to a more natural flame lighter because the jet flame is a little hot. Kind of tends to get a little on the scorchy side. Other than that, though, hopefully everything will go pretty well. These are Olivas, so uh, they should have excellent top, top tier quality construction. Flavor wise, not bad. Good start. A little toast, a little earth, clean tobacco. Alright, well, let's get this down about an inch and see how it goes from there. Alright, getting about the first inch here. I've noticed that so far the retro hail has kind of a uh, slightly cedary, slightly floral note to it. But the mouth flavor, uh, the, mouth, bleh, the mouth flavors are earthy, cedary, with a little pepper on the background. It kind of reminds you of a punch, but maybe a little dirtier. You know, it's like a uh, punch is like something you'd smoke once you grow, once you grew up. But whereas this is something like uh, you, were, you grew up playing in the dirt, by the time you were an adult you never quite stopped. It's kind of got a little bit more of a... Kind of an outdoorsy kind of feel to it, you know? It's kind of like you should be playing in the dirt while doing it. <laughs> Overall though, flavors have been good. Kind of on the classic cigar side. But like I said, it kind of reminds me very much of a punch, but a little dirtier. And that's not a bad thing. Hey, welcome back to that nice equity tunnel. I'm noticing it is getting, uh, it has gotten a little spicier from the foot. So, we'll go ahead and smoke this down to the midpoint and uh, see how it goes from there. I may take these bands off beforehand because these are actually really, really loose and kind of annoying. So, if you see the next up without the bands, that's why. Okay, a little bicycle. All right, get back to get that one. All right, so, true to form, how I usually end up uh, going by the halfway point where the ash falls off. Well, the ash just fell off. So, I'm sure it's about as close to half as I'm going to get for the time being. So far, I haven't seen a whole lot of change in the flavors. Except that uh, I, I kind of swore, I could have swore I got a light sweetness off that last puff. Yeah. There's something in the background of that. The same overall flavor profile of kind of cedary, peppery, earthiness. But there's something kind of creeping in. I want to say a slight sweet floral note. Retro Hill seems to be getting a little freer. Not bad. As you can see, I already took the bands off. I went ahead and took those off because they were extremely loose. Well, 
fork is kind of holding my fingers. They constantly kept feeling, feeling, kept feeling like they were just getting looser and looser. And I was actually kind of concerned I was going to have it slip out of my fingers. So I went ahead and yanked them. So anyway, decently good so far. Uh, burns have been pretty good so far. I did kind of fuck up the light a little bit, so I got a little bit of a, a, little bit of a gorge here. A little touch up here and there, everything's right as rain. Beyond that though, yeah, not a whole lot of substantial change here. I'm gonna go ahead and keep smoking this down to about where the band you know, should be. And uh, you know, final update from there, I suppose. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get much more out of it. That's the problem with the Robustos, they're a little short. Can this hallway echo anymore? Well, anyway, I'll get back to the halfway point and maybe do some yodeling. I just hit the halfway point, didn't I? I'm at the band. All right, final update on the Sison from Oliva. So far, I noticed after the halfway point, it got a very distinct and earthy nuttiness, both in the actual mouth flavor as well as in the retro hill. That actually I was not expecting. I was, however, quite pleasantly surprised. <laughs> so, I can definitely say that this is definitely recommended. As far as drink pairings, I kind of want to say pair this with a good coffee, or maybe a sweet cocktail like a uh, white Russian or something. Something that's got a little commonality in the form of like a cocoa or nuttiness. Beyond that though, yeah, definitely worth the money. I would definitely probably try these again. Definitely, probably. Yeah. Other than that, good cigar. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Pick them up if you get a chance. Other than that, if you like this video or any other video, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if you had one of these. Other than that, that's all I got. I'll see you next time.